Hey, what's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker. I've made four feature films and we're currently in production on our fifth film, Rhino King. And right after that, we're going to start our sixth film. Uh, but that's, that's under wraps. This video right here is for all of my filmmakers, for my indie filmmakers, my short filmmakers, my videographers, my cinematographers, all of you. I just want you to know this. Strive to be the best that you can be. Do the best that you can do with what you have. And just continue to create and not worry about the success that comes along with it. Free yourself of, of the expectation that your project has to do X, Y, Z. That it has to reach a certain number of viewers. That it has to be of certain quality. Because let me tell you. The movies on platforms like Tubi that are making the most mon money, they're not David Finch films. They're films that look like they were shot by you and me with zero budget. And they are trending and they are doing extremely well, getting a bunch of money with high viewership. So what does that say to you? That says, hey, don't be afraid to create. Don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to say, hey, my script is, is, isn't good enough. No, it's good enough. Go create it. Because how else are you expected to get better? Don't listen to people telling you that you're not good enough or your script needs work or it needs this and that. Okay, cool. You go make your script. You go make your movie and I'll watch it. Right? You believe in yourself. Go and make your project. Don't worry about it being perfect. Don't worry about having the best gear because I can tell you right now, a project shot on the Ari Alexa or a Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K is irrelevant. The camera is just a tool. It's all irrelevant. It's up to you and your vision and how you perceive the world that's going to make a difference in the art that you create and the visual medium that you present to the world. It's up to you. It's up to your team. It's up to how far are you willing to take it. I've made four feature films. Rex Park, Curse of the Golden Buddha, my first film. Not that great, but it taught me everything I needed to know. Second film, Four Amigos uh, on YouTube. It's called Fast Atlanta, Director's Cut. Street racing film, set in Atlanta, really ambitious. We pulled out some crazy things in that film. Pizza Boy Rick, now on Tubi and The CW. Great looking film, unique story. Then you have Always Smile that's being submitted to festivals that have come out in 2025. And then you have Rhino King, which we're currently working on now. And that'd be out either at the end of this year or early next year. And then we're going to go into our sixth production, uh, which is a horror film. So stay tuned for that. But I only say that to say this is like I never expected that I would be on film number five. Didn't cross my mind when I was making film number one. Film number one was really just a, a point to prove to myself that I could do it. And it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. I proved to myself that I could do it and I did it which gave me the confidence to go and make film number two through five. I don't know where the journey will end. It may be on film number five, it may be on film number six, or it may be on film number 12. I don't know if I'll ever do a big Hollywood budget film. My next film could be just that. I could sell this film or, or Universal be like, hey, we wanna make the film. Who knows? I don't know what tomorrow is. All I know is that I'm on the journey right now. I'm on the journey of being a father. I'm on the journey of being a husband. I'm on the journey of being a filmmaker. Am I the best out there? No, pretty average. Am I the best actor out there? No, pretty average. Am I the best writer out there? No, I'm pretty average. But guess what? I write my films, I direct my films, I star in my films. And at the end of the day, if I were to die tomorrow, right? I'm an actor, I'm a director, I'm a writer, I'm a producer, why? because these are things that I've done. And just because someone else did that thing once for a studio or twice for a studio, doesn't mean that they're better than you are. Doesn't mean that somehow, you know, they're in a different room than you are. You're in whatever room you need to be right now, that's the room you're in. You're in the conversations that you need to be in right now because that is part of your journey. When I tell you guys, man, when you make your first film, when you make your second film, your third film, you're not going to feel anything when you're done. You're not. The only thing you'll feel is like a, a quick, brief sense of like, yeah, I did it. 
But after you do the movie premiere and you do these things, it's, it's done. Like, that's it. It's like, what else is there? And you're always going to have that. What else is there? So if that's the case, it's like, you got to enjoy the time with the actors, enjoy the time with your crew, enjoy the editing process, and then just enjoy it. Like, what are we all rushing? What are we all rushing for? We're all rushing to die. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how successful we become, doesn't matter if we win awards or we're acknowledged by the world, we all die. Enjoy your journey, filmmaker. I hope this finds you know, some of you out there and really inspires you to go and shoot your project. I mean, that's why I make these videos. That's why I kind of always go into, hey, I'm doing this or I've made these films because man, I'm like y'all, like I, I don't have a connection, right? I don't have a cousin or an uncle or a father that's in the industry that knows somebody that I can borrow an Ari Alexa from. I shoot on a black magic, just like a lot of you, right? And we make stuff. We make films, we make movies. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the crew and, and cast that I work with. I'm proud of the fact that we were able to get this far. The outcome, the success, it's irrelevant. And sometimes, you know, hey, even in all this that I'm talking to you guys, I'm like, man, is it even worth it? Should I even do it anymore? I'm retired. And for some reason, I always find myself right back here making another movie. I just finished my sixth script today. It never stops. I'm Jason Park with Hyper 2 Productions. Until next time.